Greetings everyone, your local shenanigamer coming to you from x 11. Welcome to Sunday Shenanigames. Uh, this time we're flying with Shenanigames, obviously, x 11 was in the title. And uh, welcome to Nepal, everybody. Um, we're flying around the area where uh, Lukla, or Lukla Airport is. And that's the main airport that services um, people visiting, you know, Mount Everest or Everest, whatever you'd like to call it. I'm more of an Everest kind of person. I think the guy who it's named after pronounced his name Everest. So says my wife, I know, and she's normally right. But um, yeah, we're 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 cruising here. We're in a our Cessna G1000, um, and we're what 9,800 feet, which isn't which is around <laughs> where the airport is. Um, as you can see, we have some fantastic scenery down here. Uh, mountains all around. It's crazy. It's crazy. And uh, the weather is the, the weather is clear. Um, I didn't want to have like crazy weather on in this game because uh, that would be nuts. Um, anyone who would land at Lukla Airport when it's not optimal would be nuts because this airport. Uh, regularly features in the most insane airports in the world and um, yeah I want to see what it'll be like in game it's not exactly it's 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 worse in real life than it is in the game but even just the altitudes that we're, we're, we're working with here is is crazy enough or what we're we're kind of peaking we're not peaking that but we're, we're, we're just over 10,000 feet and there's still like land all around us here uh, mountains it's it's just altogether nuts as you can see 10,300 um, let's bank over here as you can see as I said mountains all around us and um, I've been watching a lot of flight videos people just flying around you know North America um, around the world as well and I had I, I had plans my goddamn internet upgrade fell through and um, I, I've limited uh, data upload, so my plan to fly around the world, unfortunately, uh, is that Everest? That could be Everest over there. Um, just isn't working. Uh, I have to put it on the back burner for now, and uh, we'll we'll see how we go. That definitely looks like Everest over there. Now, I took off from this airport because I want to be flying from another place till we get here, but. Um, it's it, it's proximity to mountains it's altitude as well planes love thick air they travel faster in thinner air but you know it's it's easier to land in thicker air you have more more lift and um, the, the runway is quite short and if, if you don't calculate right you're going straight into the runway now if you spy over here I think we should be able to see there's the airport over there. Now the airport in real life is on its it's on a slant. It'd be almost like if it was on that part, but uh, it still looks to be challenging. I've, I haven't actually landed here yet, but we'll see how we go. Um, I could go external view here, but I think I would deafen you all. But um, yeah, no, we're good. Lovely scenery though. Mountains galore. So we're making our bank over. Um, but as I say, look at will feature very heavily in a lot of the most insane airports around the world. And I might, I might do a few more videos on, you know, landing in these insane airports. And maybe I could do some like crazy, crazy weather here. Um, my ground speed bot is, I think, 105 knots. Yeah, airspeed 89 and falling. It's all good. I think we're going to line up here. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous. Even though this looks a lot better than it does in real life, at least it's on a flat bit of land. Look at the terrain map around me. It's just like all brown. It's like you, you, you're, you're, you're screwed. If your engine quits, you're screwed. 
I'm quite high here actually. I'm gonna throttle down and do a bit of an active descent here. Knock down some flaps, give me as much lift as possible. Oh, I'm very high. I'm very high. I was getting distracted. So I'm coming in quite fast here. Come on, drop our speed. Drop our speed. Drop the speed! Drop the speed, we're very high! See the mountain just at the end of the runway? That's that's pretty that's pretty accurate. Come on, come on. My small little plane. Let's do this. Oh, we bounced. Slow down, slow down. Oh, we did it. Woohoo! Um, yeah, like mountains all around the place. It is altogether nuts. Do check it out in real life because the it must be at least at like a thirty degree slope. Let's spin her around here. Let's take off again. Come on, you. Let me get some throttle here. Oh, hang on. What's going on with my... Did I hit the brakes today? Oh, no, I didn't. It's like it won't... We're slowly... Slowly wanting to... There we go. All right, straighten her up. And let's floor it. Let's go with our GoPro picture here. Oh, no, no, no. Straighten her up. Very little wind on that windsock, which is good for us. And we'll do like a dive bomb. Up we go, watch those lights. Oh my, oh my. And then we can go down. Can you hear the engine revving? <laughs> They're like, what are you doing? We're diving. We're going top gun on this. Good old Cessna. Did 150. It's not even telling me what my ground speed is. It's like, you're crazy. Even here. I'm still at 7,100 feet. <laughs> the airplane is like, forget about it. So ground speed, 170, 170 odd. Oh man, look at look at the the game geometry here. Is that real? Is that legit? I don't think so. Could be though, but I don't think so. Now this is how you depart Lukla. You just, you forget about gaining altitude, you go straight down, and you top gun it all the way. Has to be done. We're still going down, imagine this now in like, uh, what, what you call those suits? The velo suits? You know like the winged suits, that uh, you can parachute with. Well, that'd be awesome. Just jump off the sides. Those people that do that, man. They got rock hard nerves. Craziest thing I ever did was a bungee jump when I was uh, a foolish college student. There we go. Down we pop. What's our altitude? 54. Isn't that what this plane was designed for, by the way? It wasn't designed to weave down a mountain valley. Maybe we can come across a little tiny village. If I was smart now, I could have throttled down and maybe landed there. But not today. Not today, disco lady. 
Oh, 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 easy. I must say, I do like, uh, X Plane 11. I think my introduction into Flight Sims was, uh, Microsoft. Oh, I can't remember which version it was back in the 90s. With my dad. Remember the first time. I think the default air, uh, airport was in Chicago. And uh, I was like, oh, this is it. This game is impossible. Um, for those who want to know, um, I'm playing this on a Logic uh, Extreme. Oh, how's it? Was it 30 Pro? Um, it's got the little throttle stick beside the joystick. It's good. It's got good action on it. And uh, yeah. So let's see if we can land up a mountain, shall we? Okay, this is relatively straight. This is relatively straight. It's relatively straight. I keep saying it's relatively straight. Are we falling? Oh! Oh, ooh, I've never seen a plane disappear in, um... <laughs> Who wants to fly with me? Come on, let me know in the comments below.